no? All right, let's have a chat about uh, industries, jobs, and careers. This is part of 5A in, in your book. And uh, to be more precise, let's discuss some specific industries based on the pictures we see here. So in the first picture, can anybody tell me what this is? Here, when we deal with electricity, gas, and water, what's that? Utility slash energy. Excellent. And also garbage, that, that to think of it. Also garbage is a part of it. So utilities, energy. Now, if we talk about uh, this industry, have you found any specific jobs with this industry? So utilities, energy. An electrician. Yeah, that's it. Electrician. Electric gas. Uh, let me leave it without any article, but article could be there. There we go. Uh, electrician, anything else? Installateur. Speaking of water, right? Plumber. Plumber. Installateur. Anything else? Garbage collector. All right, that's the person who comes for garbage. And uh, one more for the people who work in power plants. What could we call them? Engineers. Engineers, yes, engineer. Excellent, let's try this one. Number two, uh, anybody knows? Agriculture. Mm -hmm. Here, there are not really many jobs that are very specific. So which job is this about? Farmer or farmer. farming. Yes, excellent. So now, uh, yeah, I forgot to ask you whether uh, this is a private or public sector. So if we talk about utilities, uh, for example, Jakub, do you think that utilities are mainly private or public sector? Uh, utilities are mainly private. Yeah, so you get your water from some company that you uh, that, that, that has profit yeah, on this. Yeah. <clears throat> For example, electricity so. is usually owned by the state, no? And water too. Oh, not always. I, I you... thought electrician as a. Ah, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. So for these jobs, yes, uh, but they work for they got they are paid from the taxes sometimes. Yeah, if they work for a company that is in a public sector, then they. Yeah, but mainly they the are like, uh, in some maybe paper news or stuff like that. Yeah, I get it, I get it. So uh, obviously these jobs can be public and private, yeah? but the industry itself is usually the public sector. Yeah? If you simply call somebody a plumber or electrician, this is usually private, yes. But if uh, you work for those companies, then you are in the public sector. Yeah? Uh, I hope we get it now, uh, so thank you. And agriculture, is it state or public or private sector? What do you think, maybe uh, Jakub, Jakub W, can you tell me? Mm, I think maybe 50-50. Yeah, it depends. They are definitely private farmers and also the public uh, sector founder, uh, farmers working in the public sector, but most of them get money from the state anyway, even if they are private now. Yeah. Okay, let's try number three. Uh, Max, can you tell me what is this industry about? It's mining. Mining, great. And the people who mine, we call them? Miners. Miners, yes. Let's try number four, uh, Peter. Entertainment. Mm -hmm. What are some of the jobs in entertainment, Peter? Can you tell us? Actors or singers. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Anybody knows? Any other? There's more, no? Like yeah, like stand-up comedy. Uh, comedy. 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 Comedy and so comic, right? Any, anything else? Uh, do you count directors? Yeah, yeah, of course. Directors, the regisseur. Then I think of musician, musician and uh, magician. All right. The, the, those are the people are there to um, create fun for you, basically entertainment for you. Let's try number five. Uh, for example, Peter, Peter Esch, can you tell me? Uh, transportation. Yes. And the jobs in this, we have already, we have had one already, bus driver uh, and... Pilot. Pilot, there we go. 
And those are the, and yeah, um, Purwachi, you know, the person who checks the tickets from you, does anybody know? Conductor. Conductor, yeah, there we go. Thank you very much. Let's try number six, uh, for example, uh, 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 William, can you try number six? Number six is uh, hospitality. Mm -hmm. Hospitality. So we are talking about restaurants and uh, hotels. Now, in hospitality, what are the jobs exactly? <sighs> to be honest, I can't think of any. No? Okay. It's a chishnik, right? Oh, okay, no problem. Anybody else knows? Who can work in a restaurant or a hotel? Waiter? Chef. Uh, sure, sure. Chef. Chef Kuchas, chef, and anything else? Butler. Butler? Butler. This one, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Can be. Although Butler can also be not outside restaurant and so or outside hotels, it can be as well. Usually for some richer people. Uh, yes, why not? Uh, an interesting idea. Can you explain this job to others, Matej? So... It's like your personal person that helps you do what you tell him to do. So like an assistant, like right? Assistant, assistant of a family or assistant uh, in a hotel, for example. Excellent. Uh, and a receptionist. Yeah? These are probably the most common ones. Uh, let's try number seven. For example, Slavic. What would you say? Government. Yes, and inside the government, are there any jobs in particular that you can tell us? I don't know. So here in the picture, who's that? Do you know Slavic? Uh, president. Yeah, easy, no? So you, you, get, you get one job already, president. Is there any other job in the government that you can share with us? Anybody? Senator. Uh, senator, yeah, just pronunciation. Senator. Prime Minister, for example. Prime Minister, excellent. Premier, we can call it PM as well. Yeah? That's very common to use PM. Anything else? Uh, so we have PM and he will create a government consisting in our country of 200, right? And some are in the opposition, some are in the government. There are 200 of them and you vote for them every four years. What do we call them in English, do you know? Poslanets, right? That's the word we need member of the parliament and they are often uh, abbreviated as mp mp member of parliament yeah so poslanets mp pm prime minister yeah? premier and also one more judge soltse right judge very common too all right uh let's try number eight um wasn't talked yet let me see maybe mr uh honza honza t can you tell us what is number eight? Real estate. Uh, real estate, great. Can you tell us uh, which jobs are uh, in the real estate, for example? Real estate a agent. agent yeah? They sell the houses and apartments to others. Uh, now to think of it, I'm sure this word you will not know. Bailiff, Have, has anybody seen this word before? It's used mainly in the UK, though. Um, this word is used for people. If you if they cannot pay for uh, their house, they will bring they will enter the house and they will uh, how should I put this? They will send them out and they will take their house from them. Okay. So in Czech we would say executor, right? Executor. So this this would also be there for sure. Uh, okay. Thank you, guys. Let's try another one. So we had number nine. That's easy, right? Um, I don't know. Maybe Marek, can you tell me number nine? Um, education. Yes. And what are the jobs in education? Uh, for example, teacher or teacher. Uh, the guy who is uh, taking care of, um, for example, the garden of school. That would Schoenig. be more like service. Yeah, that would be more here. So gardener, yeah? gardener uh, but if, if you are in education you must teach right that's the or, or like you have to educate people gardener doesn't educate anyone no i mean i mean uh, 
Oh, I see. But still, and this is not education, though. Okay. Because yeah, you are at school, you are in the building, but you don't educate anyone, right? Your responsibilities are in service. You are responsible for the garden and uh, corridors and so on. Yeah, that would be something else. But I'm thinking more of like zaditel, right? Princey, principal. Yeah, at school or a headmaster as well. There are both words for this you can use. And um, when you are at university, what are the jobs there? Professor. Professor, there we go. And uh, I'm thinking of lecturer. Lecturer doesn't really teach you. They will just talk about some interesting subject and you are just listening. Maybe at the end you will ask some questions, you know, at the end of their lecture. But uh, would be a better translation here. Thank you. Let's try number 10. Um, Honza M, what about number 10? Um, retail slash service. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And can you think of some other services? One is in the picture here. So mm, shop assistant. There we go. If they are in a supermarket, you can call them cashier as well. Is there any other job in services? There are many different kinds of jobs, right? Janitor. Uh, come again? Janitor. Janitor, excellent. Uh, can you tell us what janitor does, Mate? Uh So janitor takes responsibility for functions of the building, let's say. Yeah, yeah, and cleans the corridors, especially. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Good job. Janitor can also be used for the the person, the people in, inside, even at school, you know. So they are janitors too. Okay, uh, I'm thinking now of uh, some other, like for example, your hair is long. You need to have it cut. Where do you go? The hairdresser. Hairdresser. There we go. Thank you. Anything else? You want to get a massage, so you go to a masseur or masseuse, yeah? this is from French, so that's why they use it like this. Masseuse is for girl yeah? in here. Uh, all right, we get the idea, I think. So as you see, they are not a um, big enough industry to be considered industry on its own. They are simply called services. And retail, yeah, mal obchod, right? So they have like a small shop, basically, that or a small kind of business. There we go, uh, thank you. Let's try number 11. Uh, Max, can you try? It's healthcare. Healthcare, excellent. What are the jobs in healthcare, Max? Nurses, doctors, um, I don't know. Um, chirurg. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I want to ask you about that. Surgeon, how, surgeon. How to say, how to say operace then? Operace. Uh, surgery. Surgery. And from this, you create? Surgeon. Surgeon. There we go. Good job. I'm also thinking of maybe a, a psychologist right or or uh, some therapist that maybe works with your body right so there are many or even like uh, therapist can be for uh, like psychological problems too so let's try the next one uh, number 12 uh, peter can you tell me uh, finance yes and in finance what are the jobs uh, accountant mm -hmm. So check me, yes, anything else? Tax advisor. Tech, yeah, well done, yes. I haven't thought of that, but it's a good idea. I'm also thinking of banker and teller. Teller works uh, in a bank, but they are at the counter. So So they will take the money from you, you know, discuss things, you know, that you need to deal with. You don't see bankers in a the bank. They are hidden. They, they work in the background somewhere. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, and also one more, uh, people who work with stocks, they will uh, facilitate the buying and selling of stocks. Investor. Uh, investor, okay. But you can be, you can become an investor yourself, but more like a broker, maklash, okay? Maklash, broker. There are many kinds of brokers. One of them can be a, like a stock broker. Uh, maybe it's becoming more old fashioned, yeah, this job. I think it's slowly disappearing. But a broker is simply somebody who will facilitate uh, some kind of buying and selling for you. Yeah? But it's become, now with the internet, it's becoming quite old fashioned. Okay, um, let's try number 13. So uh, maybe Jakub, can you tell me? 
Jakub T? Uh, manufacturing. Yes. When we create lots of products on mass for lots of people, what are the jobs in this? Any idea, Jakub? Uh, I, I don't know how to say, but like <clears throat> people who work like in the maybe chicken, like many, uh, I don't know. It's okay. Okay. So basically, it's about factories. Factory. Yeah. Factory but workers. factory worker. Then there are groups of people and they have some kind of a boss, right? Well, let's say manager can be there, right? Boss simply, but this can be anywhere, right? If you want to be very precise, you can say there's a supervisor. That's somebody who has a small group of workers and he or she is responsible for them. But at the same time, he does the same job as them, kind of, right? So like uh, if you are making cars, there are six of you responsible for putting glass on the car, for example. And one of you will be the supervisor. So he will be responsible for your work and he will guide you through this as well. He will have more experience. He will talk with the people, uh, with the bosses above them, right? So supervisor is like a very common word there for this one. Not season, I think we will say in Czech for this one. Is, the best possible translation. Yeah. Is it, it uh, Mr. Like um, in master, these words? Master or... would be used more in a, in a craft, uh, which can be, yeah. So master would be in a, in a craft. So, for example, you are an apprentice, some uchen, apprentice, uchen, and I have a master, all right? Some kind of person I listen to, to learn from him how to create something, all right? But supervisor is very general. This can be for somebody who's responsible for a small group of people working, yeah? Uh, was it clear enough, uh, Matej? Yeah, it was. Yeah, good. Yeah, okay, wonderful. And the last one must be William can you tell me 14 is cons uh, uh the last construction yeah, construction that's it thank you now in construction what are the jobs william maybe a uh, builder mm -hmm. anything else uh, archi architects architects there we go engineer just like you know in, in utilities but different kind of engineer uh, anything else mm. You can also say construction worker if you want to. Yeah? Okay. okay, gentlemen, thank you so much. We talked about uh, lots of different things. We are going. We are going to practice this over the next uh, lesson and the week probably. Yeah. So what I have some. So I have something different for you. If you have no questions, so thank you very much for listening.